Welcome back to the Whiskey Hideaway. If you've been here before, welcome. If you've never been here, welcome again. You see, you come here, you get two welcomes. I don't know. Okay, it works. <laughs> Another YouTuber does that. I'm just <laughs> making fun. Anyway, Ty's here with me again, and uh, I wanted to get him over here to try this out. I went down to Lewisburg ABC store the other day for a, uh, a tasting, and it was <clears throat> good old Southern Star that was out there. Now, it was just a couple days ago, so you can see just how good this Southern Star already is, but I needed him to come over and check it out, too. But this is the Southern Star Paragon Single Barrel Cast Strength Weeded Straight Bourbon Whiskey, and it's out of Statesville, North Carolina. So this is pretty cool. So we got 109.8 proof on this one. So pretty, pretty, uh, pretty intense. And uh, like I said, I've I tried it, uh, but I'm gonna let you experience it, you know, on your own. And uh, let's go ahead and pop this baby. It would have been a better pop, uh, maybe a couple days ago. I don't know. I'm actually really excited about this. Um, I've never tried this. Okay. Uh, it's something new for me. Awesome. And um, I don't even know uh, the basic tasting notes on it, which is fun. That's the thing. I did not look it up. One of the things that I picked up most uh, was cinnamon. Getting getting a lot of, um, I mean, I know it's a weeded bourbon, mm -hmm. so yep. this is what I expect, but uh, a lot of vanilla. The oak is, I guess, uh, buried a little bit, which I'm kind of surprised by yeah. with the color. Yeah, on this one, definitely the, 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 the tannins are a little bit uh, underneath it all. Uh, when I was trying to, the, when I was doing the tasting, they also had a double rye. That one was very up front okay um and i like that one but then when i tasted this one i was like oh yeah baby this is it right here you really got got to get down in there for uh to get that ethanol that i was kind of expecting to punch yeah. in the nose. this is interesting <laughs> right. cheers all right so what you got? I finally got the wood note that I was looking for. <laughs> um, definitely got the ethanol, but it's a lot more muted than I that I'd, I'd expected. Um, usually, when you get up there and you know the in the um, kind of the hotter bourbons, you kind of get that um, that deep back of the throat burn, you know. I'm yeah. not getting a lot of that. It's mostly like top of the mouth, a little bit of the tongue, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of like warm going down. It's not um, not anything crazy, which is kind of nice. Right. I kind of attribute it like to the cinnamon. It, for me, it's more of a, a, a sort of a cinnamon like spice, a, like a baked cinnamon. It's not like not. It's not even. No, like no, a, no. It's not. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely like not like a fireball cinnamon. No, it's like a, no, no, no. But uh, just that, that the little bit of heat that cinnamon offers to yeah. the drink. And also, and I don't know if it's a, sort of a, sort of a, a banana, a banana peel type flavor, and maybe even some sort of dark fruit. Oh, I just got apple, green apple, cinnamon, vanilla. Yeah. I see what you're talking about with the cherry, mm -hmm. but it's like a stone fruit cherry. It's not like a, yeah, not a maraschino, like no. a, like a Luxardo but like turned way down. Yeah, that, and I think that's what I'm talking about, like a dark fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that, um, this is gonna be a weird note. Um, There's a lot going on with this, and I do not I do not know what the age statement is on this one. Cantaloupe? Cantaloupe. Sort of that freshness. Like a fresh melon? Yeah. Can't get it on the on the on the flavor. Just kind of on the back of the nose, and yeah, it's buried down there with that steps. cherry. Yeah. yeah, the nose completely changed on me uh, after I took the first sip, and then I'm going back on the nose, and it's it's different than it was the first time, which is fun. And but it's got a long evolution on it, but it's all kind of blended together. It's hard to pick out individual notes. Now that cherry that I was talking about is suddenly turned into like cherry licorice cherry yeah <laughs> i like don't know a, what like a just, twizzler yeah yeah well not not as not as sweet as a twizzler like but sort of that um i don't know or a vine mm. yeah more vine than twizzler yeah 
It's, it's definitely like a dark cherry and not like a, 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 a strawberry or anything like that. It's, um, uh, since we got this high proof, you want to put, put a little, put a little water in yeah, there? Yeah, take a drop or two. I have See not, what happens to it. I haven't tried water. It's got this weird evolution where it, it doesn't really, um, when you kind of, when you get the, uh, at least when I get the kind of the, the the heavy hitters, it'll go kind of like step by step evolution, where you you know you taste the wood, you taste the peat, you taste the uh, you know you taste whatever else right. is in there, and it kind of goes step by step. This one just keeps changing. It's yeah. gradual changes, and it's so subtle, but it's a long evolution. I mean, like that last sip I took, I'm still I'm still rolling. You know those up. buried tannins? Yeah, check it. Okay. All right. Mm. So that bur that brought out some of my uh, some of my uh, my baking sugars um, that I'm usually looking for on a weeder. Yeah. Um, yeah. The sugar. Yeah. It's like a brown sugar sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that smell you get when you uh, when you burn like maple wood, mm. but like not like not right when the, the smoke hits you, but kind of like afterward, <laughs> where it's still on your clothes, you know. Okay, we were talking about um, you know everybody's got a different palate. Yeah, and it's one thing to be doing a little sip of this at an ABC store out of a plastic cup. And it's way different when you're here and yeah. being able to actually dive From into a good it. Glass. Oscar, cool it. We're filming. <laughs> <laughs> we have a very hyperactive dog down here wanting us to throw a ball. <laughs> oh, there's the ball. But he looks so cute while uh, he does it. Yeah, I know. Oscar, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to pick out. I've definitely got the vanilla. I've got that cinnamon you talked about. I've got the tannins. Uh, I've got the stone fruit and a little bit of like a fresh melon going on. Um, mm. There's something else in there. It's not green. It's not woody. Uh, but it's not fruit. Is it citrus? Maybe. Am I getting a citrus note on it? Man, it's 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 buried in there. Super but subtle. It's kind of like a. The rind of a tangerine or something. Yeah, it's like I was thinking like an orange citrus type stuff, but like not like an orange, not like a yeah, it's not orange nectarine. Yeah, but like a tangerine. I can see that. It's just damn good, and I'll tell you, it makes a really great old fashioned. Obviously, because <laughs> yeah, I made more than a few the last this past weekend. <laughs> uh, but it's out of Statesville. Again, it's Southern Star. Paragon single barrel um, and of course since it's a single barrel the proof will go up and down depending on the batch it's a damn good whiskey um, I'm really happy that and and just so you know the price point on this was $74 that ain't bad. so yeah that ain't bad. It's not going to break the bank, but I'm glad that I got a taste of it before I bought it. Definitely. Because I don't like dropping anything over like 60 bucks. 60, 80 bucks is kind of where I'm like, yeah, yeah can I'm I try like, that first? I really want to know if it's good or not. You know, I've never had a problem with old, you know, with the, with whiskeys that are, uh, you know, higher in price. Uh, there's but, some that I definitely yeah, enjoy more than others. Well, there's some that, you know, you've got a new distillery. It might just be, uh, you know, a batch that's only about a year old. Mm -hmm. doesn't have a whole lot of complexity to it. But because they're a new distillery, their prices are a little high because they're trying to get a foothold. So uh, I would be interested in seeing the mash bill on that, too. Mm. It's got a, there's some interesting, really buried flavors. Everything in there is just super subtle. Yeah. And just, it's a laid back sipper, but at the same time, it's Nothing just, really just punches you in the face on this one. And it's got, the finish is, it doesn't drop off right away. No. But, I mean, it doesn't linger forever either. No. I mean, now, one thing that I did do with this um, the other day was um, I did I did smoke it. Okay. And I used the um, 
the pecan wood. How'd it go? It was really good. I mean, it added some more uh, complexity to it. Yeah. Um, it wasn't too overpowering. Um, I would think that they that I already got a little bit of cherry in there, at least what I think is cherry, so I didn't want to do that. And I thought the apple would be just way too sweet for this nice, evenly balanced, you know, bourbon. For sure. So I would uh, I would love to see an old fashioned mm. and a bourbon Manhattan. Mm. Well, I do have some stuff in there for a Manhattan. Mm hmm. You want to experiment? Sure, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, as if by magic, whoo, we've got stuff here for Manhattans. All right, got my bottom, bottom boost. and our bitters. So, we're gonna go ahead, got a little shaker here with some ice in it. So, Let's go ahead and put two of these in there. And now, we don't do ounce and half pours around here. <laughs> <laughs> ounce and half pours are bad for you. All right. Two ounces are nothing. Mm. Now it's, it, it would yeah, be good bitters. good to note for the Shoot. folks that maybe don't make uh, a lot of cocktails, right? Uh, that there are about a million and a half ways that you could make a Manhattan. True. Um, the vermouth is going to make huge differences. The whiskey is going to make huge differences. Mm. I think I can't remember if it was you. I think it might have been somebody else um, where we had a. Uh, Manhattan and uh, an old fashioned kind of like a mixture profile where we had a handful of uh, different whiskeys, a handful of uh, different vermouths, and a handful of different bitters, and we tried a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, yeah, it wasn't actually, me. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't we, me. We I would have been very interested YouTuber. in that, though. Yeah, we got, an, we got the idea from another YouTuber, and it looked like a freaking awesome time. <laughs> Um, so we gave it a shot and we had a blast. Well, hopefully you like my Manhattan. Uh, unfortunately it didn't have any rocks. Uh, so we're using freaking, you know, ice pellets here, but that's okay. Let's give it a shot. See what's All up. Right. Oh yeah. Okay. So the vermouth is coming <laughs> in strong. Yeah. Um, which is to be expected. Uh, mm -hmm. The bitters are actually a little bit more muted than I expected. I put um, four dashes in there. I probably could have put a few more, but no. I, but it's 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 good. Uh, well, but it plays well with the bourbon, which is mm -hmm. nice. It doesn't overpower the bourbon. I still get a little bit of bourbon coming through. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just so you know, guys, um, in this one, the way that I mixed it. Uh, you know, one ounce for each drink, one ounce of uh, vermouth, two ounces of whiskey, and just uh, two dashes of bitters, and shake it and then pour it over ice. Most of the times I shake it with ice to dilute it a little bit and get that get it chilled real fast, mm -hmm. and then put it over just a, a single cube, uh, or you don't even have to put it over a cube. You could just put it in a, in a glass without any ice in it whatsoever. Uh, it's all, you know, up to the individual and what they want to do. Personal preference, for sure. Yeah. Um, now, the the interesting thing that I'm getting is uh, the wood tannins uh, from the bourbon mm. are shining through the uh, the vermouth. Yeah. Really well, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still getting a little bit of vanilla. I'm still getting just a touch of the cinnamon. Not a whole lot at all. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much muted all of that as far as those big bold flavors yeah but yeah you're right they are coming through they're oh. there but everything's just turned way down now if we had made if we had made a manhattan with no ice and just did a you know like a neat manhattan oh yeah where you just have the the three base ingredients mm -hmm. i feel like this would probably punch you in the nose 
<laughs> I would enjoy it. <laughs> but it would hurt. Right. <laughs> yeah. This one right here would creep up on you. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Because <laughs> that's the way that I always mix my drinks here. They mm -hmm. always, they, they're, they're super sweet or, or, or a little uh, watered down. Yeah. But, hey, you're still getting all that alcohol. Oh, yeah. So about two drinks in, you're like, woohoo! Yeah. Dang! You know, it's not like you're sitting there mixing it up with, um, with like bullet rye or anything. You know, I can sit and sip on bullet rye, uh, old fashions or Manhattans, you know, all afternoon oh, yeah. and you're good. And you'll be okay. Yeah. This one here is going to hurt you a little bit after a while. Yeah. I think you're, I think you're probably right. Um, that's good. I like it. Turned out good. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming over and. Sharing a drink or two with me? Always. <laughs> and thank you guys for coming and watching our YouTube channel here. Uh, if you have any suggestions on future videos, by all means. Uh, and we are going to have uh, some more guests on here in the, in the near future. And uh, my buddy Jeff may be stopping by uh, later on this week. So if we've got some more episodes, we'll be shooting them your way real soon. So until then, cheers.